Good morning, my friends. I am here because I think I have something very important I need to share and I need to say and I need to address. Um, and it has to do with uh, a couple of videos I've seen today. One is from Sarah Wilby Skinny, and she's reflecting on some of the emotions you feel and the buyer's remorse you might have and the regrets you have post plastics when you're in the recuperation stage. Now, Sarah and I had our surgeries the same week two different surgeons. Um, she had a 360 degree uh, total body, lower body lift and I had that plus the breast augmentation plus the CO2 laser as y'all know. My hair's a little funky. I keep trying to get it to stick out right. That's a whole effort in itself. And um, she was addressing someone's concerns who had just had plastics and was very distressed and was really sorry they'd done it. Um, of course, that was like within eight days of having the surgery. And you have a lot of emotions when you have plastic surgery um, after the fact, uh, especially I did when I saw my face. I, you know, you guys have followed. No. Um, and then Casey Quinn did a, a wonderful video. I'm sure most of you follow Casey Quinn. Um and she brought up some topics that are really go deep to my core, addressing things like um, perfection um, and goals and, and those things just all really resonated with me today. So this is a uh, response video in a way to both, but I will put this on my own channel. Please know that I really loved that I went to Mexico. It's what I could afford to do. It was what was available to me financially. I had really no problems with being there. It wasn't a fear of Mexico. I really liked the clinic. I really appreciated Dr. Kiros's um, warm persona. I believe he must be an excellent surgeon or he wouldn't have so much repeat business and so much word of mouth. It's not just because it's affordable. It's because they do a good job there and they have a good program. Um, of course, you know, I love where I stayed. So that saying that for Mexico, put that in one little place. And here I am. Um, I don't even know how many weeks. September 29th was my surgery. This is November 21st. Gosh, I guess I'm coming up on two months, almost two months. Um, and this is the reality that I want to share with you. It is not a magic bullet. It is not a cure-all. Um, it is not perfection. It is what it is. I believe in my heart of hearts that if you have gastric bypass or, or surgery where you lose a gross amount of weight and you have loose skin, the younger you are, even with, especially with plastic surgery, the, the better your results are going to be and the longer they're going to last. Um, and I'm going to say that I was told, even as far as facelifts go, if a woman doesn't do it before a certain age, which is basically the age I'm now, real lift lift, it only does so much and it will not last but for so long. Now, I didn't have a facelift, but I would think you could take that facelift analogy and put it to your whole body. And this is what I want to say about that. When I came out of surgery the first few weeks or the first week, you know, you're swollen. And I was thrilled because, you know, that memory of what your body was like before was really ingrained in your visual memory. I had three layers of sags, like a curtain under my butt. I had not had it, did not have a big belly, um, but the saddlebags were a huge deal for me. And I, I said, all I want is to never see those saddlebags again. Um, and in my face, I was hoping um, you know, for whatever, I had no idea what to hope for. And right out of surgery, you see a huge change, but you know, you're swollen. So you know what it's going to be when you're unswollen. And I can tell you as of today and having gone on my cruise where I, I really, really tried. We went out to the beach. We didn't swim because it was too cold, but I wore a two piece bathing suit, which I wore, I just wore it and I wore a cover and whatever. I thought, well, if I leave my bottom half on, I could walk around with the top open and not feel self-conscious. But I took my cover off and stood there and had photos taken by my husband on the beach. And even in the room, a couple of times I had like many meltdowns because my body is not, you know, nor will it ever be what I'd hoped and dreamed for. I knew my legs were only going to do so well. 
And I was okay with that. And then all of a sudden I wasn't okay with that because when you put on a two-piece bathing suit and you stand there on the beach and you see how bad your thighs look, much less all the um, varicose veins, which has nothing to do with the plastic surgery. That's a whole other thing. Um, it's very hard. I mean, then I just have to realize that I'm an age, that I am 54. I can only really be the best person I can be at the age I have, the body I have, the genetics I have. Um, and that's, that's the reality of life. But it doesn't make it any harder to swallow. It was a very bitter, hurtful, you know, moment here, moment there on the cruise where, where you, there are pictures of me where I feel radiantly beautiful because I have my clothes on. But if you take them down and you peel people's layers back to the core, to the shell, the reality is what it is. I am a woman of 54 years whose skin has no elasticity, whose surgery not even two months ago has already started to sag. Um, I mean, the tummy tuck is the tummy tuck, and I'm going to show you, but I can already tell there's a saddlebag starting to re-puddle. Um, um, my, my butt was never but so great. I mean, it was flat. It's still flat, but it gives me just like a hair. Um, there's a couple of, you know, a little bit of a sag there at the base of the butt again. And, and, and he said to me something, and I didn't follow up with it at the time, but you know, you probably will be able to use, uh, you know, we'll tweak and we'll pull up a little more. I'm thinking, oh my God, will you really need to do that? But, oh my God, yeah. The thing is now I wonder if I do my arms, which I have to do my arms. I just really have to do my arms. You know, I'm going to have to learn to just be satisfied with whatever they'll be like, but at least I won't have the rain-looking arms coming down, hopefully. And, and But whether they'll come back, I don't know. Now, granted, into this mix, I have not gone back to the gym, and I'm wondering now, looking at my body, and I did a few exercises this morning here just to see did I feel anything pulling, and I didn't, so I really think I'm ready to get back to the gym and to, to muscle my muscle building. Um, and hopefully I can get a little of my tone back. I certainly don't have any tone. I've, I've pretty much lost, well, there's some there, but... The tone in my arms is gone. Um, whatever I had done for my glutes is definitely gone. Now, that might help with my skin situation. But the reality of plastic surgery is the younger and more resilient your skin is, the better your result will be and the longer your result will last. So I have no illusions about that. Now, breasts. That's another whole story. The breasts are something that are alien to me. I never had any. I don't didn't know what that was like, and I have adjusted. I like sitting here, I do not feel them. I am not aware that there is something here that's different than it was before. When I sleep, or I reach over, or I hug somebody, it's like having two tennis balls in between you and the other person. You you know, they look fine to me. They don't look natural. But who knows what false boobs natural look like. I mean, to me, they just, I mean, and I'm only two months out. What do I know is coming down the pike? I know they do not fall. I know they do not change. I would not say that the the way they're directed is quite what I was thinking it would be. But, you know, I push those implants around and try to shape them and reshape them. And I don't know if it's the way it is. It's just what it, and I have actually kind of with my fingers measured where because one areola looks like it's not the same place as the other areola on the opposite breast. And you keep thinking, well, if the, if the implant was shoved a little this way, then maybe the areola would go a little this way. I'm telling you, this is the reality, ladies. I don't know what to say about it because I have no other experience. I have not talked to the doctor about it. Um, I'm afraid I'll just be upset to find out what the reality of truth is from that perspective, too. Um, so I'm just trying to learn now to... I mean, it's not odd, odd looking, um, but it isn't one and one seems a little bigger, which is normal anyway, but one definitely seems a little bigger than the other. I, I don't, you know, for what that's worth. This is just the stuff that I'm having to struggle with a little bit in my clothes. No problem. Out of my clothes, I still have to find the same place of acceptance and peace that I needed to find before the plastic surgery. I mean, I certainly feel less self-conscious walking in and out of the bathroom and being without my clothes. But when you get down to push comes to shove and you, you're looking at the parts as individuals, portions of your body, instead of the overall shape, which I'm fine with, it's, the, it's in the detail that it starts to 
bothered you a little. Um, and it did bother me on the cruise, you know, burying myself um, in a bathing suit, even for total strangers who didn't look, didn't run screaming from the beach, didn't frighten any children. Um, and it was just for a moment. And I did have photos taken. I, I said, take them, take them now before I lose my nerve. Um, so I'm going to try to pull these and post this on this video. But I just wanted to say two months out almost, I'm happy with the overall general result. I'm not sorry I did it, but it, I hesitate to put a lot more money into something that's really not going to end up with a result like my inner thighs are not going to make a difference. They're not going to make a substantial difference in the way my thighs are always going to look. So there really isn't any point in putting money there. Um, I may or may not do this waddle because I think it would definitely help. But I can tell you already in my face, and you really can't tell. I mean, my circles have come back a little bit. Um, there is one. This It's this side, although it's a mirror image. This is the last place that healed on my face, and yet I did not pull that scab off. It did not come off prematurely, but there's definitely a divot. Now, they told me that your skin will resurface for 12 months, and it really doesn't start, someone told me, till about 12 weeks out with the collagen really pumping. So, and, and I have noticed this disappear and come back, and then there's some places here on my face, which actually I don't... Oh, that's great. See, I don't feel them today. There were actually hash marks, line marks, that were... I could feel they would raised back up and I thought, oh my God, I thought they were gone. And they had told me your skin will resurface and, and scars will reemerge and then they'll disappear again. So I'm hoping that's all normative, but I can tell you that the, the forehead wrinkles are coming back. There's a little, a little, you know, fine line wrinkles here when I smile, which is going to happen, but they're not as deep as they were. And I can definitely see these, which was not done anything to, but that's the kind of thing that if you have a lift, that would take away the or injections or something but anyway I'm not going to go there what I'm saying is I need to accept that I am who I am it is the best I can do with what I have to work with I'm happy with it and no one else loves me any less because of my appearance it's always been down to me in my core to learn to love myself to love to learn to love that I'm an aging person I'm aging it's better than the alternative which would be pushing up daisies I mean what's the alternative except to be dead or to be young and I can't do that I've done all I can to improve the quality of my health to feel vibrant and alive on the inside I've got to keep that positive mental attitude here and just like before when I was heavy or post weight loss when my skin was sagging everywhere it's the same fight so there is no chasing perfection with plastic surgery. There is improvement. There's quality of life mentally that you can have, more self-confidence, but it's not a magic bullet. And I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, these are reflections on my plastic surgery almost two months out. Let me stand up and this is it, guys. You're going to see me. Um, my husband probably will not be thrilled, but okay. And I know you're going to say it looks fine, and it does. Here, overall, I'm going to step way back. But you can see, you know, the arms are still the arms. And I still have some definition. And nice. Breathe in. There's the ribs. Um, but these, it's wonderful to have these. My husband's very happy, and I'm fine with them. And they do make my clothes look better, and they don't sag if I find that I need to. The problem is now finding a bra because the push-up bras make me look ginormously big and I really don't want to look any bigger than what I have but I would like to have a little cleavage which is difficult if you don't find a thing that cinches here and I'm having a hard time finding it here it is and, and believe me from 268 at my highest weight to 130 which I am today and with my clothes on I look so freaking tiny in the store and I look in the mirror and I go who is that skinny old lady but I don't know if you can see, but just standing here, that saddlebag is come back. And, um, you know, my legs are what my legs are always going to be. They are what they are. And I can tell you, this is it. I probably won't do this again. But, um, you know, and it does. It's They are not great. But what, what is my alternative to not have legs? They work. And if you 
just so you can see my 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 incision is fine it's it is what it is too I'm sure there's no perfection in that they're not exactly you know even all the way around but they're they're fine they're healed um, it's not like anybody's really gonna see them so that's that's it it's they're definitely parts of my body that there's like a divot in one of my butt cheeks where I'm sure they've cinched it up somewhere. So that goes in a little bit. The other one was like that and that's not like that anymore. Um, that's it, my friends. This is 15 minutes of me being really real about, you know, this mirror image thing. The plastics and everything is, it is what it is. This is just my feelings and I wanted to share them with you. So don't expect perfection. Learn to find the peace in your own heart in every part of your life and you'll be a happier person. And I'm, I'm a work in progress just like everybody else. Um, perfection is not possible, but peace is what I strive for. Um, and I wish the same for you. I will talk to you guys soon.